Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I'm doing your May reading for how they really feel, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got here for you guys. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Scorpio on how their person really feels for May 2020. Please give us clear messages for Scorpio on how their person really feels for May 2020. Clear messages, please. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got here for you guys. All right, let's go with this one here. Okay. I'm going to pull six cards for this. I'll pull all six cards first, and then I'll tell you what the position of each one is, okay? Five and six. All right. What we got here at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords Ooh. with the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Well, the underlying issue could be here <clears throat> needing to make a decision that's going to lead to a Ten of Pentacles, meaning like wish fulfillment, happy life, happy home life, having everything you need. Okay. Um, that could be the underlying issue here. Okay, perhaps some choice needs to be made in order to decide to go towards this direction. Okay, all right, Scorpio, let's see what we got here. In the first position is his or her story, what they're telling you, okay, is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords, they just could be right now being very direct with you. Okay, very straightforward, um, being very logical, um, you know, being very truthful about their things um, or the things that they're saying to you. I'm also kind of getting this sense of like them being very, I'm getting like maybe they're being very judgy perhaps about, um, about you or the way they're expressing themselves could be judgy too, okay? Um, but yeah, they're coming off, the, the story that they're telling you is a Queen of Swords energy. So they're being very direct, very logical, and very straightforward, okay? What they're really thinking is the Moon card, okay? So I think they're very much in their emotions, okay? Um, they're probably, you know, in the, in the Moon card being in the position of what they're really thinking, uh, the Moon card is a very kind of emotional uh you know, uh, not thinking type of card, right? So it could be that they're thinking about their emotions a lot, okay? It could be that they're contemplating their emotions and, you know, maybe not expressing those emotions to you as much right now. Also, perhaps they're thinking about expressing their feelings, okay? Maybe they're thinking about delving into these deep feelings that they have for you. And they're, you know, they're just finding a way to kind of deal with them in some way. Okay. Because with the Queen of Swords, you know, they're being very logical. So perhaps yet they're not very much telling you much about their feelings. Okay. Um, how they feel deep down is the Tower. Okay. Right, so they kind of feel that things um, are coming to an end, okay? Uh, that certain things have just kind of crumbled for them, maybe, okay? Um, that, you know, whatever they thought was true, whatever they thought, you know, was something stable for them has just come crashing down, okay? That could be in regards to you or, you know, somebody else that they're dealing with. Take it as it resonates, okay? Um, but, yeah, deep down, they just feel like their world has crumbled, okay? So, you know, if you're no longer with this person, that could apply to you, okay? Um, or if you haven't spoken to this person or are not in contact with this person, deep down, they feel like, you know, not having communication with you is just... a you know, a breaking down of their, their, their life in some way. Okay. Now, if you are with this person, um, 
something is happening within their life it may or may not be related to you that they just feel like their structure has just kind of crumbled okay that could be their home life their finances just something else within with their life that has crumbled okay all right let's see here how they're walking their talk is the kind of king of pentacles okay so what they are expressing to the world or how they're coming off to the world is the king of pentacles which means that they're come up, coming off as very um you know financially secure um very stable very generous okay um and this is how they portray themselves to the world right now or what that side that they're showing okay even though they might be feeling this way like things are crumbling they're not really showing that, right? Um, they're also not showing that by the by how they're expressing themselves. They're being very logical, okay? But they do seem to have a lot of deep emotions here. They do feel that some sense of something, you know, destructive in their life has come to them, but they're portraying themselves as the king of pentacles, just very secure, very confident, you know, perhaps this person, um, even though they have everything else going around them here, is financially very secure. So that's how the world sees them. They might be very, um, you know, successful in terms of their career or their finances. So this is this is how they're walking their talk. This is what other people see about them. Okay. Um, the outside influences on their walk is the Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, they could have some new creative idea that they're working on. They could have some new um, expression of some sort. Okay, this is what is influencing them. So perhaps, you know, with regards to you, what is uh, influencing their walk? So what's influencing them feeling... Um, you know, secure and stable is that they have some sort of passionate new offer to, okay? Um, it It's something creative, it's something new, it's something that they want to bring forward, okay? And this idea or this offer or this passionate offering, okay, is making them feel secure, Okay, so perhaps, um, you know, this is influencing them. So this could be, you know, a passionate uh, feeling that they have too. They could have some passionate feelings towards you. And this is what is making them feel secure. Okay, let's see. And the outcome, or in the, I'm sorry, how they're going to be walking their talk in six to eight weeks is the king of wands. Okay. So, you know, there's lots of wand energy here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay. So in six to eight weeks, they are going to be feeling very confident. They are going to be feeling, you know, very successful in terms of this ace of wands energy that they have here. Right. Because this is what is currently influencing them. Okay. And you have two kings here. So this person, um, you know, is very confident. They are very secure. They're probably very financially stable. Okay. But in terms of what is influencing them right now is this passionate energy that they have. Okay. Uh, probably towards you, probably towards something new that they want to start, maybe something, you know, that has to do with their work or their creativity or a new beginning or just a new growth of some sort that they're working on, okay? And in six to eight weeks, they're going to be pretty successful with that, okay? Um, you know, perhaps this involves some sort of work opportunity that also involves you in it okay um it's just it's something creative something new some new uh something new that's blossoming okay and that that could be the relationship between you two okay also all right let's see what we got here i'm gonna pull a card from the wisdom of the oracle deck and see what we got for you guys Please give us one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. 
for Scorpio on this May 2020, how their person really feels. Please give us one card for Scorpio on how their person really feels. One more shuffle, guys. All right. And let's see here. Let's go with the bottom. Community. Ooh, interesting. That's a beautiful card here. We got um, a giraffe with their baby giraffe. Okay, it's the number eight. Let's see what the book has to say. Okay, it says community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. Okay, so perhaps you, Scorpio, are kind of feeling this way right now. Like you want a sense of belonging, you want to be understood by others, you want to have like-minded connections, okay? The Oracle's message, this card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures, and we need to know we are useful to our families and communities. In a community, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be in inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up as a large or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the group, your presence is needed. Okay, I'm going to read the rest, but I just want to point out that maybe, you know, this community feeling, uh, maybe you are in a certain group right now where there is this kind of new beginning that's happening, this kind of passionate new beginning. Maybe you're part of a group of some sort and your person is also a part of this group. Okay, and that's where you're getting this new beginning from and this new sense of belonging is from this group that you are currently involved in. Okay, the relationship message, you're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the person leads and times when you lead and the other follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance importance of learning the proper dance between you and another accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat you're in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best the best version of who you can be together that's great yeah so perhaps you're also in kind of like this dancing mode with your person right trying to figure out uh what things within the relationship you want to repeat what things you want to leave behind okay um uh, perhaps something new that a new way of of living together perhaps that you that you want to explore with this person to continue to have this sense of community together right um, understanding what brings you together and, you know, how you can best um, have this sense of belonging with each other. Okay. All right. That's a great message. I hope you enjoyed that, Scorpio. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it when you do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.